Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. A dramatic fall for Bitcoin as concerns mount over the contagion caused by crypto-focused lender Silvergate. Let's get on over to the Wi-Fi Interactive, where Yahoo Finance is. Jared Blickery is standing by. Jared. Yeah, Silvergate earnings came out a couple days ago. Well, actually, they were supposed to, and that's the problem. Uh, they had to file a notice with, that they were going to be late with the SEC. A bunch of analysts uh, have weighed in, and I'll get to that in a second, but I just want to show you the reaction in Bitcoin. Uh, this is a pretty big deal. Silvergate, one of the huge bankers to the crypto industry. This is a year-to-date chart of Bitcoin, and you can see this is the biggest down candle we've seen in a long time. And just on an intraday basis, Bitcoin never sleeps. This happened while I was sleeping. Guess what? Pretty steep drop here from the 23.5s back, back down to about 22.3. So pretty big handle that we're looking at right there. Now, on a longer term basis, I think this is significant because 25,000, that is the high that we were looking at before. And that is a high right there for 2023. This was a level that was pretty much in play for a long time. And uh, the inability to get above it is a little bit concerning. The next stop would be 30,000, um, just because round numbers have been in play here. But that's that's actually where a lot of price action coincides as well, something around there. Uh, so I guess the bottom line is we're going to have to see how what the fallout for this is. But we already have some analyst reaction. And I think this kind of encapsulates. This is from Canaccord Genuity. First of all, they're downgrading Silvergate to hold from buy price target down to $9 from 25. But they're quoting, uh, here's a quote from them, given its success, and this is Silvergate, and becoming a key component of financial services infrastructure to the digital assets industry, the bank to some degree has become a lightning rod victim, victim of circumstances, given industry news flow over the the last few months. One more quote, we are not aware of any chartered bank in U.S. history, going back a long way, that survived such a deposit drawdown as did Silvergate post the FTX collapse last, late last year. That I would assume that includes the Great Depression where we saw a number of bank failures. So Silvergate is still a going concern, but there are questions about its survival. And we've seen this before. Let's take a look at a Bitcoin chart and uh, just plot what's happened over the last year in response to the FTX fallout. Of course, we had Celsius first and some other failures uh, basically in the middle of last year. But these were, the, these were the losses we were looking at. Now, when you have leverage built up in a system such as crypto, um, it can take a long time to deflate that. And one of the key things that I've been looking at is Binance and Binance token. And that is something that we've still seen uh, kind of hover around $1. And that's what it's supposed to do. Um, so as long as Binance token, uh, I, I would say, isn't deviating from its benchmark too much, probably have a def decent chance here of uh, avoiding another catastrophe. But let me go back to a Bitcoin chart. Guess what? If we go... If we go to see the lows that we had from several years ago, we could go all the way back down to 13,000. And that is if we have another huge failure here. And that would be the big one, Binance. So I don't know what's coming here, mm. but uh, that would be my warning. Before I go, I just want to take a look at crypto stocks, how they're doing today. We can see um, kind of a mixed board here. And let's just take a look at what's happened over the week. A lot more red than green. Silvergate down 61%. Um, looks like Marathon is down 7.5%. Coinbase, let's see if that's there. Upper left. Yeah, wow. upper left. Coinbase, Coinbase up 6%. Was that it? Did they announce earnings this week or was that last week? They also made the move not to engage with any of the transfers from Silvergate. Yes. Yeah, so no, well, I think and they're going to be doing maintenance this weekend, aren't they? I think they're shutting down for maintenance. Coinbase? Sounded right, yeah. I'll take your word for that. I know that Coinbase has shut off access to Silvergate along with just about everybody else. So that's what's been happening there. Um, but here's the Coinbase chart. You can see not much of a liftoff despite that 7% gain that we were looking at. Not much of a liftoff off of those lows just yet, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it, Jared. I was trying to look up more <laughs> yes. details on that Coinbase shutdown. Did you get it? It is correct. Yes. An eight hour, um, eight hours to complete is the technical systems upgrade that's starting Saturday, March 4th on Coinbase. around 8 a.m. Coinbase. Coinbase yes. sleeps. Bitcoin yeah. doesn't sleep. Yes, it is. Very, very eight hour nap. That's what we're talking. That's all they need. Just a nap.